year, so he'll definitely be the preferred. And, and it's a goal for St. Bonaventure. It's Chunate Vardar. He scored the winner last time out, and he gets the bodies off the board. Terrific header over his head and finds the foot of Vardar. That is his second goal in consecutive games. Yeah, I think it was John Scott. Great flick from there came for them, but then a penalty was given for St. Bonaventure. As you see, there's the Chunate Vardar goal flicked on by John Scott. And you can see how excited they were to get the opening goal. And they nearly had a second through the same man. But as we said, the post not being their friend. But here's Shea Curry, 31st minute, and his third goal of the season. Yeah, Diesler guessed right there, but it did not seem to matter to Shea Curry. Yeah, and that was another chance near the end of the half. Both these teams clearly just excited to be out here, but to get a game this good, all they could ask for. And you can see how much the sun changed during the second half. That bounced around. Sandu was under pressure a couple of times there earlier in the half. You see here, he couldn't quite get the punch onto it. Luckily for St. Bonaventure, got it away. Here was the second, second equalizer. It, it was Ender who scored. That side that had been held down all day by Callum Beattie clearly made a difference when Callum Beattie went out with an injury. Yeah, and here's Sandu. Once the shadows kind of came over, he grew into his own. Good, simple save there, but still had to make it. Cards in the half. Chunate Vardar nearly scored again, but how about this, John Engerman? John Engerman, coming up big, little guy, big heart, big play. And that's a huge moment as well. Bonnie's now 3-0. and So we take a look at the final stats, which it was pretty even across the board, which felt like, you know, the game that we watched. Absolutely. You take a look at the match summary, goals for Vardar, Curry, and Engerman. Callum Beattie with a yellow card and came off. Tone and Christ with a goal, but John, what a what a what a second half we were treated to. Sisson's on fire player of the game, and it's well deserved. It's John Ingerman. Talk about claiming your opportunity when you get it. Callum Beatty, who had been so consistent throughout the game, came out. John Ingerman came in, made his presence felt.